A Connersville man has been arrested for a pair of murders in 2022. Both killings happened near cemeteries. And as CBS 4's Russ McQuaid explains, there are plenty of unanswered questions about this arrest. In this probable cause affidavit, detectives say they found evidence linking Joshua Farmer to those two murders inside this white house in the hills up above Connersville. Investigators say bullets found during a search of this house link Joshua Lee Farmer to the murder of Thomas Combs, who was found shot to death at Dale Cemetery in August of 2022, just a month before another man was found shot to death near another cemetery. A neighbor who didn't want to appear on camera told me Connersville police were common visitors to the house where Farmer lived with his late grandfather. Yes, they was there a lot. Tell me about it. Seemed like they was there anywhere from two to three times a week sometimes. There'd probably be two or three of the cars that come up here at a time. One of those times was from last year when someone burned down this shed out back of the house where Farmer's grandfather lived. I seen the guy walking down the alley. Just a few minutes later, there was a fire truck. I seen flashing lights. So what the heck? And I went out there, and that shed was a blazing. I showed you a picture. You think that's the guy you saw setting that fire? I'm pretty sure his hair was longer when when I seen him. But yeah. Farmer faces an arson charge from last October, about the same time Connorsville police called him in, where he said, "quote I didn't kill no one on purpose." And when asked about the shootings, he said, "quote There's four." Dale Cemetery, Liberty, that's a town in Union County, and shot at two people by the graveyard. The PC was written by an Indiana State Police detective and signed off by the special prosecutor next door in Union County. Nobody from Connorsville Police will tell us why they called in state police to investigate this case, and the Union County prosecutor says he doesn't know why he was called in as a special prosecutor to take this case to court. In Connorsville, Russ McQuaid, CBS 4 News.